Sarah Walters is the narrator of Girls in Trucks. She's a debutante from South Carolina. She moves up north. So people often ask if I am Sarah Walters, is the book autobiographical? And the answer is yes, definitely I am Sarah Walters and also no, I absolutely am not. I'm a lot like the main character in that I also grew up in Charleston, South Carolina. I've lost my accent. We're different in that I actually was never a debutante. I don't have the manners to be a debutante <laughs> at all. Sarah Walters, she didn't really feel like she fit in completely back in the South, and which is one of the reasons she left. And then when she leaves, she also doesn't feel like she fits in. My whole childhood, all I wanted to do was leave. And then when I actually left to go up north for college, I was so homesick. I became interested in writing this book because I was living in New York as a Southerner and uh, feeling a bit lost myself. New York for a Southerner is tough because everything about New York is fast and dark and cold. <laughs> when I was living here, I would feel very lost. And so I used to go to the promenade in Central Park and sit, and I would feel not lonely there for some reason. Central Park is almost like a character in itself in the book. When I was living here, I was living on the Upper West Side of the park, and I was really obsessed with my ex-boyfriend. He lived on the east side of the park, so I would run around the park hoping to run into him. And then what happened was I actually did see him, but he was with a new lovely girlfriend. So I went crawling back to my studio apartment and started writing about it. So that's how the book came to be. Then the book characters definitely cope with dating differently. Actually, they're all the way that I deal with dating, so sometimes I'm completely like Annie, the one character that's very meek, and she sort of will bend over backwards to make her boyfriend happy. Sometimes I'm a lot more like Charlotte in that I'm very ballsy and really tell men what I want. Sometimes I'm like Bitsy and I'm very into impressing men with what I'm wearing. I learned a lot from writing a book about Sarah Walters because she makes so many mistakes but still has a lot of faith in love. I've applied that in my life because I also have made a lot of mistakes and have had a lot of dark days. And it really took writing this book to understand that life is about the, the small moments that so we can only appreciate the happiness and love that we have right now. That's one of the great things about writing this book. It kind of changed my life in that way.